Well, we are taking Bobby. your calls next. Um, <laughs> should the British, should the British, as in like people, Br- British um, people who are sporting football teams in general, should they be rooting for Manchester yes. City to win the Champions League? Gabby is a resounding yes. Quickly, why? I just feel that you, like me watching the game yesterday, I'm, I want City to win. I'm not a rival because I support Aston Villa. Like, you want the British teams to win when Rangers and Celtic are playing. I want them to win. Is it different, do you think, because you're a pundit now and you work in the industry and you kind of have connections Uh, and you see it a bit differently? I've always wanted the English teams to win and the Scottish teams. What about you, Ali? Yeah, generally speaking, I. but when it comes to individual rivalry, that's what it gets Yeah, that's different, of course. If it's your big rival, like Rangers, Celtic, Man United, Man City, of course not, but I'm on about all the other teams. Yeah, I want City to win it. I do, of course course. I do. What about you, Laura? No. Um... (laughs) Can't stand it. Well, it's, it's different. It's different, isn't it? Because um, I'd almost, I'd almost say, yeah, go win the Champions League and then lose the Premier League. Yeah. Go put all your eggs in yeah. the Champions League basket. I don't think that's going to happen. But there's, a, uh, there's last season. A last season, I remember that. saying on this show last season, I watched the Real Madrid City game in a sports bar in um, London. Mm. Yeah, and everyone was supporting Real Madrid. Really? Everyone, Honest, honestly, everyone, Ali. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? Right. Um, it really is. Joe is a Manchester United fan. Hello, Joe. Morning, Joe. Morning, Morning Joe. Joe. What do you reckon, Morning, Joe? Joe, call it a hunch. Um, I, I'm listen, guessing you're not rooting for them. Come on, Joe. Listen, listen. Like, like the Frumie lad who was on earlier, I'm a football fan. I love the game. I absolutely love it. I watched the game last night. Fantastic. Two of the best teams going at it. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd take United going to the National League and starting again before I want <laughs> you to win it. <laughs> you wouldn't, Joe. I, so Come I would, on. I would, I would. Listen, in 1999, do you think anyone wanted United to win the treble? No, that's why they make, they make the victory. I did. Sweet. Joe, I did. Come on now. Well, yeah, but uh, City fans then. No, City no. fans, no chance. No Wait, chance. Uh, Joe, is it just the Champions League or are you talking about the treble? So, like, it, what are the ramifications of you getting relegated down to the National League? Is it that you would... No, any- no, it's the treble. <laughs> it's the treble. Let them, if they won the Champions League, it's fair enough. But yeah. I'd love it if they won nothing apart from Ireland winning the Golden Boot. <laughs> <laughs> You can't knock him. It's, I, I, I would, yeah, I mean, it's a big old drop, though. <laughs> There's a part of me that thinks maybe... Yeah, we'd come back. We'd come back. Would It'd you? be worth it just to hear him cry. Just yeah. to hear Agent, Agent 105 cry like you. <laughs> <laughs> See, he hasn't forgotten either. I haven't forgotten about Magic. that either. Magic. Um, Joe, real quick, there was a news story yesterday, and it was about Eric Ten Hag and the comparison between the games that he's lost um, with a couple of seasons under Oli. And they were saying, look, Eric Ten Hag's lost more games. But you surely, as a fan base, feel infinitely better at the moment, don't you? Yeah, I think he's. You can see he's a Dutch master. He's got the football in brain, and it just feels it's been horrendous the past few years. And it, it just feels, although we've been dreadful this season. And the City fan before was saying, "Please, yeah, please talk about City. You don't mention City." If you don't want to mention United, that's fine. That's fine by me. <laughs> All right, yeah. Joe. Thank you very much for your call, Joe oh Manchester United mate. fan. Derek is a Birmingham fan as well. We had a Brummie on earlier on saying that he would support Villa in Europe. Derek, what would you do? Good morning, Derek, my friend. Uh, <laughs> come on, Gabby. I'm never going to be a friend of yours, am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, not, that's not a good start, Derek. And I'm, I'm, well, I mean, don't get me wrong. Since you've been on, you know, the, probably the best radio show on on the airwaves oh. um, I've locked you a little bit better but the show is always better between six and eight oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up from six tomorrow then <laughs> bro you Derek Derek so, so Eric, Derek when Villa won the European Cup was he not supporting us no really <laughs> I can't remember for that far back. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, I Just over 30 years ago. I mean, cu- cu- come on, Gabby. We still are Birmingham City. Last people to win a cup in the Midlands. <laughs> Facts. Are, are we not? He's right. No, 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 you're right. Uh, 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 we'll, you're totally we'll you right. Gabby. Right, hang on. So, Gabby, you're saying that if, for example, Birmingham City decided to have a great run, promotion, all that sort of stuff, Champions League eventually, and they're in the final against Real Madrid, you'd be supporting Birmingham City? Of course, local local team from from Birmingham. I'd want them to do well. I think you've had 
I think you've had your families like the Joe the Burnley game. Derek, thank you very much for your call. Blow it, Derek. Top man. Derek can come back on any time. Oh, oh, yeah. Any time, especially between six and eight. Um, who's going next? John. John is a Liverpool fan. Hello, John. Morning, John. Good morning, John. <laughs> Brilliant, but a top forum, John. It sounds like he's a kazoo. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, John, would you be rooting for Everton in, in the Champions League final? Wait, John, before you answer, just turn your radio. I think your radio might be up. If it is, just turn that down so we can hear you a bit better. I'm on my phone and my car, my radio's not on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laura. <laughs> Take some of that, Laura. <laughs> I actually didn't, I didn't understand what he said. Laura, you've got more interest than other babies with the other fellow there by the side of <laughs> Can you imagine that? Imagine our child, Jesus. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that me. on the world. Anyway, John, get to your point. My, my point is, we should let me make this clear. I would Liverpool are desperately in need of a midfield in the summer. I would rather Liverpool sign Jamie O'Mara than the European Champions. <laughs> He only plays sideways, you sure? <laughs> Jamie O'Hara, bless him. He's not even here to defend himself. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.